Hey, Chris Lipe here. I love analyzing Michael Jackson's voice and performances. And in this video, we get to unpack the legendary vocal training session that he did with Seth Riggs. This is absolutely incredible to go through, but it's also potentially very damaging for vocalists who want to learn how to warm up well and properly. We're listening to one of the greatest singers of all time train with one of the greatest vocal coaches and most experienced vocal coaches of all time. <laughs> Michael already fully understood expressiveness, experiencing his voice, being connected to what his voice could do, exploring different sounds and possibilities in the context of his ingenious writing abilities. He knew he was already in that space. Most vocalists are not in that space. And so if you try to train and warm up like he's doing these, these incremental increases in range over these fast uh, lines that he's doing, you are going to wind up in striving mode like Michael Jackson isn't because he's already self-aware enough about his voice to be able to handle what Self Riggs is asking him to do. You likely are not. I likely am not aware in the same way that Michael was. Uh, uh, you all set, Michael? I'm ready. Okay, here we go. I love this. This sequence of notes that is peppered throughout this entire warm-up. And he does it so fast. If you want to make this useful for yourself, do not do it fast. Do it slow. Get the intervals. Feel out how your voice shifts resonances. Let it shift resonances. Lots of people have trouble with lip trills because getting the right airflow balance, especially while you're trying to warm up, can lead you to pushing harder than you probably should, especially as you work up in your range. So to make sure you're relaxing into the lip trills, start by putting your fingers on the sides of your face. <laughs> And then as you, as you ease into this, you can release the amount of pressure you put on your cheeks. He's already in a mixed voice there. So he, he understands how to, how to move through his resonances in a way that is not uh, causing tension. He's not straining here. Now that's an F, Michael. Do you know uh, how high do you have to sing today? All, I want to be all the way open. <laughs> all right. Okay. We'll go all the way up to I love that you can hear Seth demonstrating it. That's so cool. Michael will sometimes not get the notes quite right. Sometimes it's oh, and sometimes it's oh. He'll he'll mess with the, that descent quite a bit, but it doesn't really matter. And if you try to if you try, especially as you speed it up to get the notes so right, you end up trying to control your voice too much, and it works against you in your warm up. pitch really is pretty good. I love that. The oh, going through the different vowel mods. Oh, that's really, really an awesome thing to do. If you want even more help with your voice, you'd like me to come alongside you and help you and in a way that's freeing. Click the link below and join my free voice course. I'll help you warm up and train in a way that fits your goals, your path as a musician and vocalist. Oh. 
opened up well on that. <laughs> Seth gets a call. I love how you can hear the nasality coming out in that vowel shape. That up there in that really healthy mix. Uh, he's very nasal. He's he's placing that back and doing a little bit of crow. And you hear that coming out in this warm up. Don't you wonder what happened there? Right? Someone handed him something? I don't know. Uh, thanks. <laughs> uh, Beautiful sounding mixed voice. Uh, Experiment resonating in different ways as they move up so that they don't strain if they're going to work se sequentially higher like this. So I would I would have them do this even on this vowel, and you'll hear Michael do this later with the E vowel, but uh, hear how I, I went up into my head voice there? I didn't try to go like this. Uh, Michael's already got this down, but if you try to if you try to lock your into your chest resonance as you're doing this complex sort of line, especially as you speed it up, you're going to do this. Uh, that's going to burn you out. You may be able to do it for a little bit, but it's going to burn you out really, really fast because you're constantly reaching up for those notes. You're locking. You're, you're moving too much air consistently through your chords. So if you back off and let your voice comfortably experience this line, you'll have a way better chance of not trashing your voice by the end of your warm-up. This one's huge. It takes a lot of agility. Before you try to do it in, in one voice like this, Do it slow and let your voice flip into the head resonance, chest resonance sort of thing. Let yourself sort of yodel into it. Yeah. In, in healthily and mix again. And you can hear him. Three minutes into a real-time warm-up, almost four minutes into a real-time warm-up, the training and conditioning that his voice had at this point and in many points throughout his career was absolutely unparalleled. I love this exercise. Being very intentional about experiencing the way your voice is resonating, the way you feel your voice, the way you're placing your voice, and training down. Whew. This is an awesome warm up, and I, for most vocalists that I work with, place exercises like this at the front of the warm up. Also, I have them start in their head voice because the head voice is requires less air to phonate. So it's easier to, to warm up in the fine nuances of your voice if you start in your head voice. So I would actually start. And then I would go down like he does here. And he goes all the way down to fry, I believe. He gets pretty low. Fun to hear Michael go that low. Uh, 
Wow. He's all the way down there. That's pretty awesome. You really don't hear that much uh, out of Michael's voice in in regular songs. Uh, 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 I don't quite get there. He's frying out a little bit. Uh, uh, right, uh. Seth was giving Michael Jackson the training session and the warm-up session that he knew he needed. He speeds up so much of what Seth suggests he does. What I like about this exercise... is it really helps place your voice forward and get a sense of your mask, the resonation in your face. That's a really important thing to do when you're warming up. Again, he's already able to get into his mix. If you can't comfortably get into your mix quickly and sequentially like this, working out with these wide range warm ups and, and, and exercises is not going to work for you. You have to know yourself enough to know that. Also, don't go this high unless you're planning on going into head voice where you already have a good command of your mix, or you're going to get tired before you even get started because you're going to be asking your chest voice to do too much. <laughs> It's beautiful. Have we modded that vowel? Again, the the easier way to do this. Starting chest. That's very healthy. He's getting to the top there. On this E vowel, he does go into his head voice. This is the only vowel when he's doing this sequence where he consistently goes into his head voice as he crests those higher notes. Listen. How slidey he is there, too. (laughs) He's getting paged. This tone. Hold on, darling. Now, hold on a minute, Michael. I like this. Hello? Oh, Seth, hold on, too. Okay, yeah. I'm okay. I can just call you every time. What time? Going between the A and the E, and really opening up on that A on the high part. I'm doing a little bit more than he did, but he's 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 getting up into that mix again. Oh, 
So, you know, the other thing that's really interesting is that even though he's straining sometimes up there, you can tell he releases the tension by the time he gets back down. He doesn't get locked into tension, which is another thing that, you know, he, because he's so familiar and knows his own voice so well, he can do that. Your warm-up really doesn't need to be longer than about 10 minutes, and it doesn't need to be a, a training session in and of itself. It's not called a warm-up. It's called a training session. So he's pushing his voice more than you'd want to in an average warm-up. The danger for us comes when we call this a warm-up. Oh, that's just how Michael Jackson warms up. Eh, it's how he trains, not necessarily how he warms up. Mm, key distinction. I like how this one grows. See how we started in head voice. Hugely awesome warm up. Transferring resonances as you're going to that top note. Very, very good thing to do. Now that time, listen. He started in, in head voice there, but he didn't hear. Nice fast vibrato. Love this one too. No, 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 no. You know how much faster Michael does it than Seth demonstrates? No, 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 no. Again, I love this because we're connecting that resonation of the, the front of the face. No, 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 no. Really placing the sound forward with those M's and those N's. So incredibly cool. Take it light. Take it light. No, 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 no
he still when he goes high uh, he ends on the uh, but he mods it it's it's a natural thing to do now here's an interesting thing that that Seth talks about here listen So, slowing down the exercise is okay, according to Seth Riggs, but don't slow down your vibrato. Keep your vibrato spinning. I'm not sure why, and I've, I've Googled and, and searched and asked a few other coaches why Seth would say that. Why Seth would say, don't sl- let your vibrato slow down, because I, as, as a singer and, and as a coach, I'm always... I'm always encouraging myself and others to let your vibrato be musical for the situation. Sometimes that's going to be slower. Sometimes it's going to be, be faster. Why would you want to, in a training session, keep practice keeping your vibrato consistent? I'm sure there's a great reason for it. I'm sure Seth had a good reason to say that. And I really happen to like the quality of Michael's vibrato as it slows down. Also, listen. No, 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 no. Beautiful. It's a bit more classical sounding. I love this section where Seth is asking Michael, do you have any sections where you need to train for specific notes? And be sure to go listen to this in its uncut form uh, so that you know you, you, can, you can really dive into some of the nuances of, of their conversation. But I just love the care that Seth demonstrates here. So they're working on approaching different notes, how he would in certain songs towards the end of this training session. Now, what, what is the approach? Yeah. Cold. Cool. So yeah, but what is the approach? You're cold, my cold, I'm cold, you're cold. Is a cold. Is a cold. But what is the phrase going up to the beat? Is a cold. All right. All right. So the C could throw you. Uh, so just be careful that you keep it as pure as you can and drop your jaw on, on O. Is a cold. And it's a c- Is a cold. Is a cold. Has him drop his jaw. Notice Seth, he's coaching Michael, but not even singing in that range. He's helping Michael through something that Michael can do that Seth isn't going to be able to do in the same way, yet he's still guiding him through that. That's that's profound. The relationship that they have is pretty cool. It shows that the coach doesn't necessarily need to be at the same level singing-wise as the singer. It just needs to be a good relationship. There. And he and Michael followed Seth's advice and was able to create a better tone and a more free sound out of that. So cool. And then they close with a how do you feel conversation. It's so cool. That's as high as you have to do it. How do you feel? Sounds real good. The vibrato is very steady. How do you feel? Am I all the way open? How to me like you are. So funny. Michael is asking him, am I all the way open? For as introspective as I hear Michael to be as a vocalist, he, he there's a lot of trust there with Seth, which is... Ah, oh, so cool. But it's also surprising that Michael would ask that question because I feel like he would know. But asking for that third party to do I do I sound? Do I feel open? Do I sound open? That's a really neat interaction to have. I'll tell you what I don't like. You know, I, you know when I haven't uh, vocalized you for a bit, I don't like to, to do so much that I don't want you to you know leave the rehearsal in the gym. But you're fresh now, right now. You could, if you did it wrong, you could make it. I want more context around what they're talking about. But what it sounds like they're saying is, what it sounds like Seth is saying is that he doesn't want to overtrain Michael because they haven't worked together in a little bit, and so he's sensitive to that. He's sensitive to, even though they haven't trained for a while, he's sensitive to how how much he can push him. Uh, but he's saying, oh, it you know, sounds like he's open. Sounds like uh, even if he 
went and did this this note that they were just working on wrong, that that it would be okay. He's fresh. He's warmed up. He's ready to go. He's encouraging. Well, look, here's the thing. Uh, if you get into trouble, call me back, no matter what it is, and I'll just have people step outside. We'll continue. All right. If you feel funny, all right? Thank you. I love you. Bye-bye. Love you. Bye. There's this level of admiration and respect that, gosh, I mean, Michael being one of the greatest vocalists of all time and Seth being able to work with him and then just that exchange at, at the end. You know, I'll tell you what, you have any problems? You're feeling weird? You let me know and I'll help you out. It's it's almost this, it's, it's, a, it's a physical help to have a vocal coach. But it's also a a relational and reassurance that Michael has and needs at this stage, which is which is so cool. Thank you for watching this longer than normal video. I hope you got a lot out of it. I hope it it helps you in your pursuits and how to handle stuff like this, how to handle not only warming up and training, but also, you know, when you see someone else do something, how do you internalize it and make it right for you? and where you're at. And really, that is the name of the game when it comes to singing and learning from other vocalists in general. Being able to take something that is inaccessible and make it accessible for you. And that's what I help vocalists do all day long. If you'd like more of this, click the link below and join my free voice course.